Alright, hi everyone, it's Goofy Word, and today we have something a little bit different. Today we're going to be opening a full booster box of Ikoria. This box comes from a case that my buddy Conrad usually buys, and he's been waiting for this case since, if, like, well before the set got delayed even. So, we're going to see what happens. Not a ton of good value in this set, but at the same time, wow, that is exciting. At the same time, you never know what you're going to get. Maybe we'll see some wild uh, comic book variants. We'll see some cool foils. You never know. Let's just jump right in. Yeah, my friend Connor buys a case of almost every set. And so we've got Prey, Easy Prey, Channeled Force, a alternate uh, Porky Parrot. Eerie Ultimatum, and a Foil Marshall. We'll put all the uh, alternate arts somewhere else, too. And this one, he has kind of been going through a lot just to get it here. This case has been on quite the adventure to get to his hands. We've got the Exuberant Wolf Bear, Keen Sight Mentor, Unbreakable Bond, and Slither Wisp. I know he has been making a... Uh, He's been making a flash deck, so that's a sweet card. I'm hoping he is going to want four of those for that. And with a full case, it seems likely he'll get it. Valiant Rescuer, Jubilant Skybonder, Lead the Stampede, and our first mythic is Rael the Everwise. That card is very strong. It's much better than it looks, and it looks pretty good. I've played with it in draft a bunch of times, and it is... Ridiculous, especially if you can play, uh, if you can play like a um, cathartic reunion, because then you're drawing five cards: monstrous step, regal leosaur, storm wild capador, and jangatha. Jagantha. Oh, Seth, better known as Saffron Olive, is wow, rubbing off on me. Jagantha. You know, ever since the com the companion change, those aren't quite as good, but still a very powerful card. Next one we've got Sanctuary Lockdown, Grim Dancer, General's Enforcer, and our second mythic is a Luminous Brood Moth. It's pretty nice, with of course a foil almighty brushwag. So two mythics really quickly. We'll see to keep up this pace, you're looking at something like a 15 Mythic box, so probably that's not going to happen. We've got Void, Beckoner, Will of the All Hunter, a, a uh, alternate art Boneyard Lurker, and a Dranith. Oh, Conrad, you are going to be so mad or happy with me. Conrad's always very excited about his foil Mythic, and here we have it in the first box of the case, Riel the Everwise, already. So in one box, we've got two Riels, including one foil. I don't know if he's going to be happy about that or mad that I cracked that one without him out of the six boxes. Although ever since Wizards changed the number of foils in each box, I wonder if you're likely to get two foil mythics. Fight is one, Clash of Titans, Frill Scare Mentor, Lava Break Adventurer. Strong card. That is a sweet pull regardless, though. I have a feeling I'm going to be playing against a Riel uh, commander deck in the near future based on that pull. Majestic Oricorn, Ketria Crystal, Boon of the Wishgiver, ooh, and a nice Nethroi for our fourth mythic already. So this is pretty wild. That is a lot of mythics. I know uh, Luminous Broodmoth is one of the pricier mythics in the set, so that's exciting. Swallow Hole, Rooting Malak, Zagoth Mamba, and Yadaro, Wandering Monster. Okay. Yadaro is the bane of my draft career. When I draft it, it's a terrible waste of a card when my opponents have it. They just get a free 8-8 Hasty Trample, and I lose the game. 
Ooh, love that. Pouncing Shore Shark comic book art, Primal Empathy, Escape Protocol, and Kogla, the Titan Ape. So we're almost one third through this box. And we're already four mythics, which is kind of insane. Reptilian Reflection Draft All Star in the cycling deck. You can get these and the uh, Zenith Flares. You're in good shape. Mythos of Snapdax. This should be up here. It's a pretty good one. This is the end of the first third of the box. And we've got Call of the Death Dweller. Archipelagor, this card is so annoying to play against. Indatha Crystal and a comic book Dirge Bat. That card's very strong, too. There's a lot of powerful cards in Ikoria, but Mutate as a whole, great for draft, a little bit weak for constructed. It's just too vulnerable to having your one big mutate creature eliminated. If that gets removed, you're in bad shape. Heartless Act and Umori, the Collector. Again, with that change to Companions, it's not looking super likely that any of those retain their value, but at the same time, it's fun to play a Companion. Okay, we've got Keen Sight Mentor, another comic book Archipelagor. And Dotha Crystal, and another Mythos of Snapdax. Very weird. Hmm. It's crazy that there's already so many spoilers. We're already well into spoiler season for Corset 21. It seems like this set didn't really have time to uh, air out. All of a sudden, it was out in paper. Will Bonder, Ketria Crystal, and Ketria Triome, our first Triome. Yeah, this set came out in paper, but we kind of couldn't play with it because of obviously quarantine. And now we're already getting ready for M21, and we're already starting to look at double masters, which is doubly hard on the wallet. Mm, Skycat Sovereign. This is a Killer draft card. We'll see if Flyers can make a dent in Standard. There's definitely some support for it, but unclear if it's going to be strong enough. Looks like it's on the cusp to me. Oh, I like that. Weaponize the monsters for a nice, uh, for a nice Aristocrats build and eerie ultimatum. I don't really know what is going to be in that. Ikoria box topper pack, to be totally honest. I'm not sure what kinds of cards are in those. Easy Prey, Hominous Seas, Unbreakable Bond, and a non-comic book Dirge Bat. Looks like we're halfway through the box now. Haven't seen a mythic in this entire row of cards. We'll see if that can change here. If I can get through the commons, Proud Will Bonder, Insatiable Hemophage, Storm Wild Capador, and Frontland Felidar. This card is, again, crazy in draft, but probably the Vigilance deck is not going to be a standard viable choice. Alert Heat Bonder, Zagoth Crystal, Back for More, Indatha Triome, our second Triome. Again, have not seen a mythic for this entire middle third of the box. And there's only a couple packs left. We'll see if we can get there. But the first third did have quite a few, so I wouldn't be surprised if there just isn't one. Hunted Nightmare. You know, I love these hunted cards. I like the old ones where your opponents get a certain number of creatures that are really good against the hunted creature. Like the hunted troll and the hunted dragon. Those are super cool cards. This one's a little different. Oh, I see a foil at least. Easy Prey, Clash of Titans, Zagoth Mamba, Ruinous Ultimatum. And a nice, cute migratory great horn. I haven't seen a comic book card in a while either, unless I've missed it, which is very possible. All right. 
Will of the All Hunter. <laughs> Another Porky Parrot with the Alt Art. Everquill Phoenix. Conrad, you're kind of getting crushed on value here. You got a strong start. Foil Rayel is pretty cool. I don't know if it's very valuable, though. And we haven't seen a ton since. I think the Moth was your best hit of the box so far. Sprite da Dragon. Recon Mission. And Doth the Crystal. And Quartz Wood Crasher. All these cards that are just truly... Ridiculous if you can't remove them right away in draft. Oh, and a foil rare Shike Shark Typhoon. That is a nice one. That's pretty good. You know, Sharknado is what I always call that card, but I know it does have a real name that isn't Sharknado. Great card. Instant speed and make a shark, or you can just cast it out the real way and keep getting that value. If you get to stick that, the game's pretty over. Neutralize, Sprite Dragon. Polywog, Symbiote, and Death's Oasis. And Will of the All Hunter. Foil. I guess our Shark Typhoon shouldn't be up with the Mythics. But it's too late now. Alert Heedbonder, Exuberant Wolf Bear, Ivy Elemental, and ooh, that comic book gem razor is so cool looking. Wow, that is awesome. That's a very nice one. Gem Razor seems super powerful. I feel like a lot of people playing with Mutate uh, fall into a bit of a trap and try and mutate onto a human at least once or twice without realizing it's non-human. Ooh, these alt art parcel beasts I know at least were worth a little bit of money. Wow, very cool. Comic book Snapdax. This card looks completely wild to me. Love it. I'll tell you, Conrad, this is at least a very cool box. I don't know how much money is in it, but I know that the, the cards that are special are really, really cool. Like, you're getting the stuff that you would want to get. A Foil Mythic, sweet. You know, a Garuda, fine, great. But the, uh, like, the Alt Art Snapdax is so cool. I don't really think Snapdax is one of the better... Uh, aspects to be getting but at the same time you see a cool card and you're excited about it regardless we've got recon mission grim dancer lore dracus and a non-foil shark typhoon still a good card down to a few packs left see if we can get maybe one or two more mythics i don't know though maybe that's just asking a lot Footfall Crater, Alert Heedbonder, Savai Crystal, and another Skycrat Sovereign. I know it's always this way, but a lot of duplication here. Two of the Skycat Sovereigns, a couple other uh, re or copies, multiple copies, especially Riel. Sanctuary Lockdown. Ooh, I see something cool looking and foily back there. Ragran Crystal, Bastion of Remembrance. Oh, baby! You have something really cool back here. Crystalline Giant and a foil comic book Narset of the Ancient Way. My man, you probably hate that this is the box that I got to open for you. Wow, if this isn't the best box in the case, you should buy another case. Because this seems wild to me. And maybe I'm just way off and I'm really excited about what isn't actually a very valuable box. But my goodness... Necropanther, and another Triome. So you're up to three Triomes, two Foil Mythics, including an alternate art Planeswalker Mythic. I think this is a pretty killer box. All right. Just a few packs left, and of course, that box topper called the Death Dweller, Weaponize the Monsters, Splendor Mare, and Labyrinth Raptor. We've got three packs left. Okay, on this one we've got, I don't even know if those are worth pulling aside, maybe I'm just doing a dumb thing. Harshback Mentor, Auspicious Starix, Chittering Harvester, and a Triumph comic book art. My goodness, 
Dude, I think you are hitting a home run with this box. Another Zenith Flare. Swallow Hole. Barrier Breach. Oh, bosh. This is by far my favorite companion. So cool. Does so much damage so quickly. Just really fun stuff. Last pack. Trumpeting Gnar, Migration Path, Channeled Force, Bonders, Enclave. So finishing with absolutely nothing exciting, except, let's see, what goodness is in this Ikoria box topper. You know, I really worry about ruining a card when it's in this, like, very scary individual wrapper, but that went pretty smoothly. And we have Godzilla, Primeval Champion, which is just Titanoth Rex. So not a great one, but it is still pretty cool to get these Godzilla cards, especially because you usually can only get them in the collector's boosters. So overall, let's take a look up here. My goodness, dude, you are going to be pumped. Get the Shark Typhoon out of there. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six Mythics, including two foil mythics and i'm totally off camera right now there you go six mythics two rails a narset snap decks luminous brood moth and nethroi really really awesome stuff congratulations conrad and thank you again for letting me open this box on the channel i hope you all enjoyed this video if you want to see more openings you could leave me a comment and you know have a great day everyone i'm goofy word Go out there, play some magic, play over a webcam, do whatever you can to keep this game alive even though we're all separated. And I'll talk to you soon.